Before James has rebuilt, the other engines were hard at work. They felt rushed off their wheels and needed help soon. One day, the Fat Controller spoke to Edward. Edward, you are needed at the scrapyards at Barrow and Furnace. There is a train of scrap that needs to be taken to be melted down. Why would I need to go there and not to the scrapyard on my branch line? Because our scrapyard is undergoing renovations, and the other scrapyards are busy with other stuff. Oh. Okay, sir. Edward puffed away to the scrapyards, trying hard not to think about unpleasant thoughts along the way. On the other side of Sodor, there is a bridge leading to the city of Barrow and Furness. There is a scrapyards there, where many steam engines were either cut up or escaped to Sodor. Normally, it would be diesels who would go there, but as Edward was taking the scrap train there, nothing would go wrong. By the time Edward's cargo was unloaded, Edward set off home. He was puffing down the line when he heard something. What was that? That sounds like a steam engine! Who's there? A silence hung in the air. Edward backed up. And to his surprise, he found a steam engine in the scrapyards. His tender was already cut up, but the locomotive itself was unharmed. Hello, I'm Edward. Who are you? Are you one of the engines from the Northwestern Railway? Yes, I am. And who are you? My name is Barry. I used to work on the London and Midland region. Really? An engine on our railway used to work from that railway. He tells me his name was Clarence. <gasps> Clarence? He survived? Yep. He now goes by the name Arthur and has a branch line all to himself and helps out with goods trains. Oh, that's wonderful. But then Barry's face fell. Is something wrong? I miss my days when I worked properly. Edward was intrigued. He wanted to know more about Barry. Would you like to tell me how you got to the scrapyards? Sure, it all started in 1968. I was working on the London and Midland region at the time. A tender engine whose name was Samson had just returned from a trip to Sodor. I had no idea that Sodor even existed at the time, but I only knew Samson went to an island that was not mentioned to me by name. What a waste of time I had! What is it, Samson? Ah, I just came back from the island. I was told that the city of London was King's Cross, but then some tank engine said London was Paddington. But that's rubbish. London's Euston. I go there all the time. I honestly have no idea what those two engines are talking about. Just then Clarence came up. Actually, you three were both correct. What? There were a number of stations in London for different railway companies. King's Cross is the London Northeastern Railway, Paddington was the Great Western Railway, and Euston is the London Midland and Scottish Railway. Samson's face was priceless, but before he could argue, our controller came to see us. You have done a very good job, Barry. But now, I think it is best if you return to your sheds to sleep. Yes, sir, but I only have one question for you. What is it? What is the name of the island everyone talks about? Our controller paused for a moment, then he spoke. It is called Sodor. It has four different railways. The Northwestern Railway, which has standard gauge engines. The Scarlowy Railway, which is for narrow gauge engines. The Arlesdale Railway, which is for minimum gauge engines, and the Caldy Fell Railway, which has engines that run on mountain rails. Many people have doubted it even exists, but it is very real. Samson went there hours ago. 
But anyway, you should get to your shed. Have a good night's sleep. Okay, sir. After saying good night to Clarence and Samson, I popped away to my shed. When I got there, I was about to sleep when the manager came to see me. Is there something wrong? I'm sorry, Barry, but I'm afraid this will be your last day of service. What do you mean? It's time this railway becomes like the others. What? That's right. Diesels are coming into this railway. All the steam engines will be relocated to the scrapyards. After everything you have done for me, you'll turn me into scrap. I'm sorry, but this is how it should be. I won't go. You shall. I was about to argue you when a diesel buffered up to me. And my driver and fireman left my cab. They were just as sad as I was. I could tell they didn't want to leave me, but they couldn't stay with me, even if they wanted to. Right, you! Let's go! And we both left. When we got to the scrapyard, I was completely scared. The screams of steam engines being scrapped were all around me. It was a living nightmare. I found it hard to sleep. I was worried that the scrappers would come to get me next. I stayed there for 20 years. I saw some steam engines escape, and I wished them luck along the other engines. I s continued to stay. I then saw dealers being taken into the scrap yard. I was confused. I didn't know why dealers were being cut up as well. Then it made sense. They must not be able to keep up with the workload, I thought. Then, in 1988, two men arrived and approached me. I was afraid. No, 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 stay away! Be quiet, if you don't want to get cut up. What do you mean? Aren't you going to scrap me? We were ordered to scrap you, but we don't want to see you cut up. We have seen engines get cut up. It's terrible! We're going to get you out of here. For a second, I was speechless. No, you're lying. You're going to make me suffer. No, we won't. You'll see. Two men got into my cab and gave me fresh coal and water. I couldn't believe what was happening. They started polishing me and oiling my joints. I couldn't understand why they were doing this. Maybe they were going to transform me to another scrapyard, I thought. But what didn't matter then? I started moving. The steam and the saw me leave. Fly away. Be free. Escape the threat of the diesels. Unfortunately, some scrappers saw me leave and ran off to tell us Yard manager. As I put down my line, I asked my driver if I'm asking a question. Where are we going? To the island of Sodor. You'll be safe there. But what if those diesels try to stop me? They won't. We'll make sure of that. 